About 30 years ago, I was working in one of the country towns in the Department of Agriculture and the lo one of the local dairy farmers grabbed me one day and said, come and have a look what I've got on my place, Graham. And he showed me the dung beetles. Wow. That fella, his name was Doug Kershaw and he had a big impact on me. He was my mentor. Another time, he grabbed me and said, Graham, come and have a look at these. And he showed me one particular earthworm working in the pasture paddock, the black-headed earthworm. It also buries poo, just like the dung beetles do, but quite deep. They work beautifully together, the earthworm and the dung beetles. Well, I lost my job a little bit after that and was looking for guidance and things to do. And the local land care group was up and running, so I joined in the local land care group and putting my dung beetle and earthworm efforts in. You might ask, why worry about dung beetles? Well, the poo's not supposed to be on top of this the grass. A cow doesn't want to eat grass near her poo. No respectable animal wants that. And it's a wasted resource. It needs to be in the soil. We need healthy soil. The official name of unhealthy soil is soil structural decline. Soil loses its shape. Soil loses its holes. It needs holes to breathe. It needs holes for the water to infiltrate into the soil when it rains. We need these healthy soils for healthy crops and healthy animals. Well, I was well mentored, so I'm currently mentoring two young fellas in Tassie to take on particularly the earthworm and dung beetle work. Dung beetles are very exciting, easy to talk about, but don't forget the worms, the earthworms on farms. Just as important, less of an exciting image. <laughs>